Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Batman and if you guys already know, I'm a huge DC fan, like seriously, Harley, 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 I have more Harleys in the back, like, um, I'm a sucker for Harley, I love her, um, but also I, like, my favorite superhero, it's, the, you know, is Batman and for so many reasons, I think he has, he doesn't have any powers, yes, he's a rich guy, but he, you know, he's like, I don't know, like an inspiration for many people around the world about it doesn't matter how much money you have, it's the, the important thing is that you do good for people and he demonstrates that on every single comic he does. You know, of course there are so many comics I just can't read every single one of them, but I have read some of them. Uh, some of them, I think I've read one that is named Long Halloween. Uh, of course, I have read, um, you know, The Killing Joke. I have read a lot of Harley's uh, origin stories, a lot of, you know, the Batman or, you know, how, what happened to the Batman, uh, you know, when he was little. Of course, I know that because of the comics, not really of, you know, of actually of the movies, to be precise. And I actually watched the you know, Batman the Animated Series when I was a little girl. <sighs> so many things I need, you know, I watched all of the uh, DC animated movies. So if you want me to do a movie, you know, ready in my top five movies of DC uh, animated, of course, I could do it if you want. <laughs> I think it could be really fun to talk about that. Um, so, you know, I love the interaction between the, ba you know, between Batsy, <laughs> how Harley says, and um, you know any any villain and in this movie we see a lot of them and I am truly excited to see more of every single one of these characters um, so first of all I need to say thank you Mar Reeves for everything you've done for every single fan over there I think we needed this movie right now it, like the most um, you know it's really sad what is happening in the world right now and I really want to to say uh, that I that I'm very sorry about what is happening and if I could do anything I would do it um, you know just spread love you guys spread peace spread you know a hug uh, keep on caring for everybody around you and you know that's something that Batman always demonstrates you know it doesn't even matter how bad you are in the world he gives them a chance to change and i think we as human beings we do mistake we 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 actually we have a lot of mistakes in in our lives and at the end of the day we need to to give you know a chance for people to to be better so i think you know Batman is something like that for me, so for me, that's why he is my favorite superhero and um, he's so intelligent, so handsome as well, but also, you know, so passionate about who he wants to be in the world and what is he gonna be doing in this world, so this movie really comes into that, uh, we start on, I think he's on his early 30s, uh, you know, Rob I think he's on his 30s right now um, and you know he demonstrates how you know Bruce Wayne is at the beginning he's not like this womanizer this rich guy who tends to be at the top of everything you know it, he's not there yet but he will at some point I hope we could see Robert Pattinson being that at some point or even someone else like for me watching Batman in any in, in any way, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, even though I didn't like Ben Affleck as, a, as Batman, but whatever, um, you know, even, you know, we're gonna see Michael Keaton again as Batman, like, can you believe that? I don't know, like, in what time are we living in? I don't know, but we're gonna be seeing Michael Keaton again as, as Batman, and I can't believe that, and, you know, and this movie that my ribs created it's really genius i think it's it's really how i wanted it to be if you have seen gotham the series um 
you and if you haven't please go and watch it like I think it's really really what I, what you would like because I loved Gotham I was a fan of the series so much I got really sad that it ended but it needed to end at some point to be honest uh, I think the cast knew that and um you know it has a lot of similarities with this movie it has the dark aspect of Gotham for me Gotham of course I always knew it was New York <laughs> but in this movie it looks you know very mysterious very sad things are happening in the, in the city I don't know it feels different of what I've seen in other movies even The Dark Knight which is my favorite um, you know Batman movie if you see me watching, you know, to another place, I'm sorry. I'm getting used to this thing recording on my phone. So I'm sorry. But hope you are liking this review, I guess. So uh, starting with the scenery, you know, it's really, really good. I think it's such an amazing scenery. And also, you know, the costumes were amazing. I really like the Batman um, costume. I think it was so well done. I think it's the best Batman costume ever. Even, I could say, better than, um, you know, Christian Bale's Batman suit. But it could be, I could be wrong. It could be like in the same, you know, um, you know, in the same likable thing. But, um, but I guess it, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So also that, that thing is, you know so cool also Catwoman suit it's really good I think she's starting to be Catwoman she's not Catwoman yet but we see a pretty much a lot of interaction between Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne and that is so cool she in this movie spoiler alert this is gonna be spoiler review Selena doesn't know who he is still but she will at some point and it would be really interesting for her to know that and I personally Talking a little bit about Selena, I really liked Zoe Kravitz as Selena. I think she portrays a very powerful yet mysterious, sexy type of, of Selena. Uh, like she took Selena in a different way as you know Cameron did on Gotham or even Mitchell Pfeiffer, um, you know, even Anne Hathaway. Like she took Catwoman's different as she could and I really really liked her. I think she said on an interview that Catwoman for her was B, like she was not straight. So that could I could potentially say it could be interesting to see that. I don't know who she will be dating because that I don't think that appears in the comics, but probably I'm wrong. I don't know. I mean Harley is B, right? Like we all know that. <laughs> like she's in love with Poison Ivy but she's in love with the Joker. Like she's crazy, right? So um and you know, I'm, I'm I'm liking that aspect of her. You know, to be to love whoever she wants to love and have that independence. I think that's amazing. And uh, you know, again, she did portray a very powerful yet mysterious yet melancholic yet. You know, she doesn't know where to go. They kill her best friend, and you know, she gets very mad about it. But we don't see like a really an origin story of Selena. I it could be potentially really good to see that at some point, but we will see probably in the future. But um, I like her really much. Like I really really like her. She was amazing. I love the wigs that she uses on the movie. There are multiple wigs. I really like my favorite wig was the one that she used um, with red eyeshadow, red wig. I really like her. I mean, let's be honest, you guys. Like Zoe Kravitz has an amazing body. Like she's so thin. Like. I really, really, really like how she, like, truly Selena Kyle, like, in real life. Like, I, I can't imagine her playing any other character, like, seriously. But if they're gonna be casting Poison Ivy or, or even Harley Quinn, they should go a little bit farther and even have, like, a brunette, <laughs> right? I wanna play Harley so bad. Um, Please comment down below if you want me to play Harley, just kidding. But that could be potentially pretty good. Like I would give ev anything to be Harley on this universe. Like everything. Like I love I love her. Um, but I think they could potentially, you know, have a, a different kind of like a Latina. Poison Ivy could be pretty cool. I don't know. 
you tell me what do you think but it, either way I don't know if we're gonna see that in the future probably somehow I don't know you know Margot Robbie said in one, one interview like she knew that she won't be playing Harley a lot like it's something that she needs to pass on at some point so it could be potentially pretty good for her to pass this opportunity to someone else who can also give Harley a little bit of a different storyline I could that could potentially be pretty cool um, but anyway talking about the movie also talking about about another villain I really like the penguin he was truly amazing I'm gonna put the names of every actor that's playing these characters on the on, on the screen while you watch the the images because you know I just waste time talking about them but uh um, like he was truly amazing I really really like him and I think he's gonna be having a series on HBO Max so that could be so cool and I really want to see more of him so I can't wait to be honest um, well, I also like Commissioner Gordon he I at first I was like I don't know this guy a lot like I, I'm gonna like him I don't know I mean I'm, I mean for, for me Commissioner Gordon is like the one from Gotham right like he is so powerful so fearless so different right and he turned out to be even better than I, than I was expecting right and even Alfred he was just so little in the movie but he was so cool like I really really like him I wish we could see more of him as well um he seemed a little old probably just me but um I don't know um also what else I liked I liked the beginning of the movie as well I liked the voice of Robert Pattinson like it was so good like I could potentially hire him to do ASMR or even like a podcast I would listen so much of him on a podcast like Rob if you're listening I love you but also please record a, po a podcast talk, you know talking like Batman because it was so good like it was so good um what else uh i really like the fight scenes oh my god the fight scenes you guys are so good like so so good uh like cheers to every single stunt double over there they did amazing cheers to them and also um i want to talk a little bit about the riddler because he I, I turned out to be a riddler fan since gotham since the series and I think Matt Reeves actually watched the series. I don't know if he has been talking a little bit about that, but I think he really did. And I really, really like the Riddler. I think he, like the character itself, I think he's really clever, but also I think he's potentially like someone who could potentially kill me because I'm very bad at riddles. Um, and yeah, I could pro like probably be dead right, right now. Uh, if, if it, it wasn't for Batman because Batman knows everything and I love him but um, like the actor really did a great job and I loved it I really really did it was really really good and uh, what else I think also I also liked um, what else I, I was thinking a little bit about them you know also the song Ave Maria right I didn't like every single time I'm gonna be you know hearing that that song is gonna be like Batman like <laughs> like there is no denying that I'm gonna be listening to Batman while I hear that song right and it's a creepy song it's good like of course he's catholic and everything but it's a creepy song like they always play it on a creepy you know atmosphere such as a like conjuring or something like that so for me it was interesting the I really like the um, you know that in the the song of Batman in this movie is so good, it's so interest so interesting, so powerful, so amazing. Um what else? Uh I love Falcon. I think Falcon was really good, it which also appears on Gotham. Really important to say that. Um he was really not a lot in the movie, but he really did a great job to, of selling himself as a really bad guy who doesn't even care about people he just cares about money to be honest um the thing about the thing that they did with bruce wayne and martha wayne it was interesting i'm not really sure if i think you know what they said about martha being crazy 
kind of relates to Martha being the Joker in another universe. I don't know if you guys seen that comic. I'm gonna put like a picture over here to for you to know what I'm referring to. But it's interesting that my ribs took us in that path. Um, very interesting to see that. And um, you know, partially this movie is based on the Long Halloween uh, comic, which I'm also gonna put over here. But um, you know, it's interesting that they took us over there and the case was so good. I was just at one point thinking like, what other thing are we gonna see from the Riddler? Like, is there gonna be like a bomb inside Batman's suit? Like at some point, like, I don't know. Uh, that's why I love DC villains. I like more DC villains than, than, than what I like Marvel villains because I like how mischievous and unexpected they are probably it's just me but you know that's why I like the Joker a lot um and at the end you know Batman he was like Robert Robert Pattinson was so good as a Batman really still Christian Bale is my favorite Batman but I could say he's over there on my top three to be honest and if you are a Batman you know fan as I, as I am and um, if and, and even if you are not a very big fan of Batman you're gonna really like this movie because it's a detective movie it's not like action movie like Marvel right we see a lot of Marvel movies going in that direction which is great but at the end of the day we want a story we want a reason why Batman is doing everything and I really really liked the the end right what he said about vengeance like he's not vengeance because vengeance doesn't lead you anywhere you know he he has to have a mission in life and a mission in life is like they look up to him they look up to him for hope they look up for him for you know some something better in life right so that is what i liked about the movie the script was so good like i understand robert Barnes and what he said on an interview that he was so into the the script like the script was so good Cheers to that, my ribs, seriously, and your team. Wow. And um, what else? Um, I, I really don't think I need to talk about the bad, bad movie because we have seen it on a trailer and it's fantastic. And you guys need to watch this movie on the movies because the sound is so good. Like, so good. Like, you need, need really need to watch this movie on the movies. Like, on the theater, sitting down, eating your popcorn, like everything. I have something here written on a note, what? <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I mean, particularly this movie, I could say it's, um, I could say nine out of 10, even 9.5 for me, like it's so good. And I could not recommend it enough. Like I understand why Rotten Tomatoes were talking about and I understand why people were saying that it was a very good movie and why Robert was not like really afraid of what people were gonna be saying because he knew that people were gonna be liking it. And he was right. So very truly grateful for DC for giving us this chance to see this and not the other things that we have seen before because damn they were bad but um you know of course i liked the suicide squad which i did a review about the movie on my um on my tiktok if you haven't followed me on my tiktok tiktok what are you doing i'm gonna put like here that's my tiktok tiktok and uh you know i always do this type of acting you know thing on tiktok i really like acting to be honest if i was not you know what I'm doing right now I could pro probably be doing movies because I love movies I think they're amazing and what you do as an actor and what you see on the screen is a lot of work a lot of responsibility and a lot of you know perseverance and hard work on every single day and there is no reason why we shouldn't be happy and you know for the actors who are acting this because it's not an easy job it's not an easy job to be on the spotlight many people are really not extroverts they're introverts and they don't like having a lot of people knowing about their lives and we need to acknowledge that so i think i'm really talking a little a lot about this i thought i was gonna be doing a very quick review but i can't like it's really it's a really long movie but you're gonna be liking it a lot and at some point you're gonna be thinking 
how is this gonna end? And talking a little bit about the end, well, the end, like, are we gonna see the Joker at some point? I think we are gonna be having another Joker movie. And I, I heard that we are gonna be having another Joker movie probably on 2024. So keep your eyes on that news because we're gonna be having more Joker movie and probably more Batman movies. So we will see. But either way, you guys, thank you guys for being here. Again, if I'm looking into something else, I don't know how to look on my camera in my phone, to be honest. But I hope you like my review. It's a really quick review, um, I think. <laughs> and um, again, hope you like this the, the movie. Enjoy it with your family, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, mother, dad, sisters, brothers, whoever. You need to watch this movie. Like, there's not an option. You need to go. You need to go and I'm really gonna be angry if you don't go and you know if you go just comment down below what was your favorite part of the movie personally my favorite part I think it was mm, well I think there's many many parts that I really, really like but I think um, the part where they uh, are using like the bad mobile I think was really cool how they shot it and I really like how Selena and you know uh, you know, and Bruce Wayne meet is really nice as well. And uh, what else? And when, when they kiss, oh, it was like watching my comics coming to life. Um, and yeah, I mean, I liked every single thing about this movie. So go and check it out and, you know, comment down below what was your favorite part. So thank you guys. I have a ton to edit right now, to be honest. And probably you're going to be seeing me a lot, you know, on the you know, on the next few days. So, hope you like my reviews, my reactions, and I will see you very, very soon with another video. Bye, guys!